Welcome to Walking and Running Shorts Part 3 from London, Ontario, the third short and steady video by Old What's-His-Face. I mentioned I'm from London, Ontario, so that my one viewer from Perth, Australia doesn't think I live in England. In January, I walked and ran on the West Branch of the Thames Valley Parkway, or the TVP, in London. Not only was I outside in the fresh air most days, I added a few running miles to my fun and fitness routine. A local race group posted information online recently about a spring running event, so I added a walk-run combo about every other day to my routine. Within three weeks, I was able to run eight kilometers comfortably at a slow and steady pace. I'm thinking this steady eddy could be ready for a half marathon by April 25th. A few factors help me shift from long walks to long distance running. First, I run as slowly as I want. As well, I take walking breaks on a regular basis. And my motto is, go slow, catch your breath, enjoy the view. Conveniently, there are distance markers on all three branches of the TVP at every half kilometer. When I reach a marker, I walk for 60 seconds, then run very slowly to the next half kilometer marker. After three to four weeks of this walk-run combo, I can usually skip most of the walking breaks. Roads were nice and clear yesterday, and another steady eddy ran by while I walked on Edward Street. Ha! <laughs> Go figure! in Old South London. I think my long distance walking habit, about 45 miles or 72 kilometers every week, makes my transition to running three to four times per week relatively easy. I don't mind running in cold weather, but when my roots are too slippery, I back off and stick to walking. As well, I don't head south like a snowbird. I just head downstairs to my exercise bike sometimes with a good book. Whether I'm walking or running, I hope to see you out there too. Cheers.